What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are in Chelsea, uh, London, of course. Uh, to, I'm doing some uh, conditioning work again today, some S&C work, but this time in the gym, which should be fun. It's exciting to actually get back to the gym. So today we are at Club Health. Just this nice fancy door over here. <laughs> um, it's in a very posh area, very posh. So um, yeah, should be exciting. Coachman Tom as well today again. And uh, yeah, don't forget if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe. Let's go. Just use that to start, just to show you my bag. Okay, so I am in this awesome facility. This interesting gentleman over here. Um, this is like the coolest look. I wish I could grow my beard this long. Let it grow. Throw it, the it wouldn't work. Throw the this is afro. It would just be like... <laughs> Throw <out> the blades. <laughs> My afro would not look this slick. But um, yeah, so if you'd like to uh, introduce yourself to... Yeah, so welcome, welcome to Club Health. Um, we recently opened uh, in March, um, obviously before COVID hit. Um, but, um, but yeah, we're doing really well. This is a one-on-one -on -one kind of facility where we do uh, provide health services, uh, mostly physiotherapy, uh, remedial massage, yoga, Pilates, and also we have this rehab room, which we call the movement room, where we do performance training, but also rehab. We built Club Health, um, obviously trying to incorporate all um, elite uh, practitioners, health practitioners in various areas and have them all under one roof. Uh, so that's that's what we've achieved already, and we're still building, uh, still looking for um, you know high-end practitioners so that we can help our our clients and other people. Cool. So we're back here with the coachman. What's uh, happening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So we're doing some. What are we doing? Actually, I'll let, I'll let him take over. He's the coach. So obviously, we've done a lot of um, rugby specific training outside but a big part of, of a rugby player's training happens in the gym. Um, and we're gonna to focus today on the power and explosiveness of the training side of rugby. Um, there is a big strength block that you would do in rugby, but we're gonna do more specific stuff, which would help OB be explosive and powerful on the pitch. So there's gonna be, <laughs> uh, you're gonna see a lot of moves today, which are short and sharp, and none of this kind of loading nice and slow, three seconds down, four seconds up, no, it's gonna be punchy. So there's a reason for that because that's exactly what happens on the pitch. Um, and then I've thrown in a couple exercises, very specific towards rugby, and then obviously a bit of conditioning at the end. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna join in with that as well, um, but it should be good fun, should be good fun. Yeah, I mean, so this type of training, even though, like you said, rugby can be transferable if you do a lot of sports. So oh yeah. Especially with strength, with strength and conditioning. Football, like yes. football with legs. Okay, because I know Americans say- Soccer! Yeah, <laughs> okay. So, leg football <laughs> and American football. Because yeah. you know? for me, that's the thing. I want to experience what it's like training like an athlete. So it doesn't, um, not a specific sport, but just to kind of get an idea of what it feels like. So like he was just saying, um, throwing a bit of, um, uh, trying to emphasize that it's not about three seconds step but four seconds, because obviously if you watch my training, that is how I train. So this would be completely different. So if, if you've seen like the other NFL stuff that I've done, you would know that uh, you have an idea. So this is a different approach, a different coach. So it'd be fun to see what his idea, uh, what ideas that he comes up with. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. Yes. Fun for him anyway, not for me. Let's get it going.
Okay guys, so then we've just done our activations, our mobility work. You should feel ready to go. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna go to the first exercise. We've got the clean complex. Um, they do use a lot of Olympic weightlifting within uh, rugby and NFL and all this good stuff. Um, but we're gonna focus more on the explosive part of it, okay? So we're not gonna be doing squat cleans or anything like that. So we've got two clean pulls, and then we're gonna go into two hand power cleans, six sets. Now this is really important here, RP7, rate of preserved exertion, or set to percent. With, with, this, with these kind of power workouts, you do not want to be working at nine or 10. Uh, RPE or 90 or 100%. We need to bring the weight down. It needs to be explosive and it needs to be uh, with good form. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're all through the whole session you're going to see six or seven RPE um, just for your understanding there. Here we go. Yeah, take it. Turn on my uh, woo. <laughs> so uh, it's already on 130. Functional fitness, yes. Let's see how much calories. Actually, the beauty about this is yes, I forgot to turn this on. However, it still tracks your um, activity without you having to turn it on. That's what's awesome about whoop is if you train, you don't have to turn anything on, it automatically tracks it and gives you your final. Score once it just once it perceives your heart rate shot up for any reason, it's uh, it registers it. So uh, yeah, it'll be nice to see. No more forgotten workouts. Yeah, but so far I said I've only burnt one calorie. <laughs> <laughs> this is after the first workout. <laughs> Next up, we got the landmine push press and the landmine pull and press. Again, this is a fantastic exercise. Uh, transferable into many sports, but especially rugby, for that powerful handoff. All right, so how it's going to look, we're going to superset this as well. First up, staggered stance, and we're in. Okay, Obi's going to do eight of those on each arm, and then he's going to go into the pull and press. Tricky move this, don't worry if you go off balance, it will happen from time to time. Nice. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Couple deep breaths and you're in. Nice. There is so much going on with this move. Um, just all my advice would be is to start really light um, and then you can kind of build up to more of the heavier weights. But if it's the first time trying this move, let's look at RP4 or 5 before you work to 7. Okay guys, next up we've got the banded squats. Again, we're not looking for any low, um, slow loading phase here. It's very explosive and I want you driving up through as fast as you can. Again, this is going to be really, really transferable into rugby as you drive through a tackle. Want to give it a go? Cool. One. Two. Beautiful. Three. Come on. Four. Three. Five. Go. Six. Come on. Seven. Yeah. Okay, and then he's going to superset that with the jack of rolls, guys. Any of you front row or flankers who love that breakdown area, this is a perfect move for you. So, you're going to stay over the ball, however the ball's 30 kilos. Um, nice straight back, get under the D ball, okay? And then you're going to pull, and then you're going to hold for two seconds down. Okay, so again, replicating that breakdown area, people are slamming into you, you're meeting resistance at the same time, and you're trying to steal the ball away. Three. Four. Six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. All right. Keep them on. Five, come on. Two, good. Three, more. Four, more. Five, come on. Six, seven, last one, go. Finish up with some unilateral work. Um, this is actually not going to be done explosively. You can do it explosively, but for, for us today, we're not. We're going to work on the kind of um, just loading phase of it. Very transferable again into rugby, NFL, those good sports. Load up the hamstrings, glutes, and powering through sprinting and rugby uh, and powering through a tackle. Um, so single leg Bulgarian split squat. Again, we're looking at that kind of seven RPE. Final position. Keeping the chest up, posterior chain engaged, all the way down, all the way up.
the minutes finish. Let's go. Mindset, let's go. Final couple minutes of the game. In that room. Don't worry. Let's go. Get the time, bro. Nothing more. So now we're going to do 50 meters fresh stroke, 25 minutes front crawl. Oh! Oh! Whose idea was that? I'm doing it. Oh shit! <laughs> I've got floaters on, that's why I'm not like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well that was interesting, uh, yeah it was a good workout, just checking out my room, 8.6 but that's probably not as accurate because I didn't turn it on in time, uh, it will probably give me an, another reading once I'm done but uh, yeah, that was my room score, max heart rate was 170 and that was probably on the burpees, so um, as I said before I hate burpees. <laughs> Oh, don't forget to use my discount code OB to get 15% off the loop. And, uh, oh. Uh, Sam? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I called, I called them the wrong name before. I called them a bit deranged from like what just happened in there. Yeah. I called them the wrong name before, so I just carried on that tradition. Uh, yeah, that was an awesome session. I feel like I had a bath, um, <laughs> and it's probably the first time I've probably trained like that in a while. Yeah. Obviously, I've been outside doing it on my own, so that was fun. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to do a lot more because now that the gyms are open, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Thanks so much to Tom. No, thank you. Any words for the guys out there? Any words of wisdom? Um, just with, with some of those moves that you've seen there and there today, some of them are quite complex. We were saying to use RP, uh, RP7, um, just come down, come down to four or five if it's the first time you've done these moves. Then when you start getting the confidence, then that's when you can add on the weight. Um, but just enjoy the session, it's different. Um, and then just, yeah, just progress it over a couple of weeks and see the change. Yeah, I mean, I've always, I always teach this principle anyway. If you're doing something the first time, strip down. This is, I've done two videos now. Take the weight down. And he's just Excuse like, me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, hopefully some of you who are into sports and you try, want to try some of these type of training, there you go, you've got those are free content, you know, that I'm bringing out yeah, to man. you. We'll be doing more with Tom, more on the tra uh, field track, field yeah. track. Like we really can't speak right now, you know? It's yeah, just, it's like burpees. <laughs> What did the whoop say? I didn't start it in time, so it said max heart rate was 170. Okay. Calories was 370, I think. So you didn't push me hard enough. No. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Don't get to leave a thumbs up. Right oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching again. Peace out. Say goodbye, Tom. Ooh.